Hey everybody, Scott DiGregorio, Your Mortgage Guy, talking to you about exit strategies. What the heck is an exit strategy? So look, we got to understand how long we're going to be in that house or that mortgage so we can make decisions. And I got to tell you, this is um, one of the first questions I ask people because it applies to so many different topics. Should I pay points, et cetera, et cetera. So, so look, in regards to refinancing, we have to understand what our exit strategy is. And I touched on this in various pieces of other videos in the series, but just to kind of wrap it all up into one pretty bow or wrapped gift, I don't know. Anyway, look, if you are rolling debt into your mortgage, uh, a car, for example, and you're going to keep that mortgage for 30 years, we got to factor into the fact that you're going to, or factor into the equation that you're going to have another car payment at some point. If we are refinancing to lower our monthly payment, whether it's debt consolidation or not, we got to understand that if we are three years into a 30 year mortgage and we get a new 30 year mortgage, we've just added three more years to the term, which is very, very expensive potentially. So look, Whenever you're having these conversations, you have to have an honest conversation with yourselves, yourself, your spouse, whoever else is in your decision-making circle about what is your exit strategy. And guys, this is where it gets difficult. Who the heck knows what 5, 10, 20 years is going to happen from now? But using the best of our ability, we have to give it a shot. So think about exit strategy. Not doing it can cost you big time. If you have any questions about your specific situation, reach out to me. I'm here to help. My name is Scott DiGregorio. I'm your mortgage guy. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.